Hello, and Rand here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming, and no oven, we're not going to be doing any mining in this video or more than likely any of the future videos on here. We'll see once maybe at some point we get bored and we'll go revisit it. But uh, for now, Evan, we are going to be farming. That's right, Evan. We're going to try farming on this map. And I was looking around at this, Evan, and uh, I sold most of the equipment we had here. So the combine, cultivator, plow, all that stuff. I just I got rid of it, Evan. And then I was uh, just, you know, getting rid of the rest of the equipment. I happened to see this. Like, hmm. I don't know about you folks. This seems like a good map for some animals, right? Or is it just me? I mean, so I'm, I'm thinking everyone, we should do some animals on here. Maybe some horses, cows, something like that. Do you folks let me know? Let me know in the comments. Everyone. I'm, I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, either horses or cows or horses and cows maybe... That's kind of what I'm thinking of. This seems like a good map for animals. Uh, again, if you look at the map, I mean, there's not much in the way of fields on this map. I mean, if you zoom out here, we got 8, 9, 10. 10 fields? Looks like there's 10 fields from obviously. There's not very many fields on this map, everyone. So, anyway, uh, as I said, too, I sold all the equipment. So, first things first, I mean, we need some equipment. Uh, we're going to need a combine. We're going to need... Ooh, and actually, you know what? What does the plant season look like on here? I just happened to look up. We're in the month of May here. That might be pretty good. Okay, looks like we can plant pretty much everything here at this point, so that's good. Uh, better make sure I don't uh, fast forward any more time, so that way we can get some uh, fields prepped here. Uh, we only... Actually, you know what? I don't think we own any fields. Okay, we own field 22 at the moment, Evan. That is it. I'm like, I have not even purchased any fields, Evan, so it's, this, I think, is what we started with when we first started the map. Obviously, Evan, when I started, I bought... You know, the mining areas up there and then the mining area down here. I haven't actually purchased anything as like as far as fields go. Uh, one other thing I wanted to note here as well, one. Maybe we should uh, revisit our mining for this one. We'll, we'll see once here. But if I wander over here, I guess it's a little further walk than I thought it was. Let's see once here. We just uh, do that. I think zero reset it. Yeah, zero resets it. There we go. I think now we're... There we go. Okay. Not sure what that on the bottom of the screen. I don't remember seeing that before. That must be uh, something uh, from one of the uh, mods. Oh, there is a bridge here. Okay. I must have uh, fixed that at some point. I mean, uh, the bridge was not here. There was no bridge here. Hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I must have placed this down, didn't I? Yep, must have placed that down at some point. I don't remember if I did that on video or not. But uh, if you remember when we first started the map here, that bridge was missing. So yeah, now we got a bridge there. We should be good. Let's go. Uh, let's go do some shopping, everyone. Okay, that's the uh, that's what we currently have. So we need a track, everyone. And I know in the comments here, a lot of folks are saying we should stick with some older equipment. So let's uh, see once what we can uh, find here. Ooh, we got some Kubota stuff. We could do some Kubota. That might be kind of uh, fun, everyone, for uh, Animal Farm. Might have to uh, check into that a little bit. What do you folks think? Some Kubota. Let's see. We got some uh, older. John Deere tractors there. That is the medium tractors. So what have we got large tractors here? I think most of these are all going to be newer ones here as far as uh, the Giants equipment go. We got a nice uh, Case Steiger 9380. That's a little bit older one. Wonder if this is uh hmm. Oh, same content. Uh, I, I'm just looking at this. I wonder whose mod this actually is. For those who remember, I actually had a mod. Uh, ninety. Yeah, no, ninety. Ninety three eighty. I think it was. Yeah, ninety three eighty. Yeah, ninety three eighty. Back in uh, Farming Simulator nineteen. I'm not sure if this is mine or not. Nah, no idea. It's possible someone converted that one. Because uh, I know there was another similar one out there as well. Just That one happens to look almost exactly like it. I just happened to notice that. Uh, 9X, okay. Not a 9RX. Ooh, there we go. 8R, yep. Definitely a sold on that one. So not much in the way of older tractors in this category. I mean, it looks like we're going to have to drop it down to probably the medium tractors if we want some older stuff. Uh, again, like I said, I'm thinking if we, uh, if we do some animals, I'm thinking a... Kubota might be in order. Also, nothing like a good old John Deere 7000 something here. 7710, 70. You know what? How about a 7710? You know, everyone always has the 76 and the 78, right? Who has the 78? Firestone. 
wonder what the difference is. I, the tractor's going up and down a little bit there. Row crop, no hub. Let's put some duels on that. Hopefully there's some duels, maybe. Let's find out. There we go. Wide, wide, max. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what that all stands for. That looks pretty good to me, that one. Uh, let's see, mid-mount. No, I don't think we need that. Mirrors. Uh, mirrors would probably be good. Sure, let's put some... Oh, that's a GPS mount. There's the mirrors. There we go. Uh, GPS mount 2000. Extremity lights removed. Yeah, let's install those side lights. Sure. Exhaust stock. Yep, that's fine. Drawbar standard. Uh, weight bracket. How about weight set too? Let's go with that. Front loader, nope. Headland, nope. G uh, well, GPS, yes. We're going to put GPS on that one because uh, as you folks know, I kind of like my uh, GPS. Let's go with that. It's pretty good to me. Let's go get ourselves a plow here. We should probably get, oh, let's see. What's, what do we got? Great Plains Turbo. That looks like a nice uh, size plow. Um, fields on this map of one. Depends again what we get here. Because most of these fields are small, but then you got field five. And field five is a decent size field. And I'm not sure how this is broken up as far as... It looks like they're actually almost all individual, aren't they? Five is obviously the big one there. Definitely thinking we want to pick up a couple more fields of them. Maybe like five and four. Uh, keep in mind, I mean, this is a 4X map. So, I mean, yeah, they look like they're small. But 4X map, I mean, so they are decently enough sized, right? Let's see here. Cedar... Do we got anything? Uh, of course, we got the old classic John Deere 8350. I mean, can't go wrong with that. Also, the 1590, another good old classic there. Anything else we haven't uh, used? Yeah, a little too European for me. Sorry, Von. Not interested in that. Yeah, it looks like everything I have is either the 1590. We got the CCS John Deere one here as well. Thinking I'm going to have to be one of these two. How about the 1590? Capacity without fertilizer tanks. Capacity with fertilizer tanks. Hmm. Let's go with fertilizer tanks. And then at least we're going to need one more tractor. So let's go back to our tractor category. Uh, nope, that one. I want the medium tractor. So we're going to probably grab one of the John Deere. Oh, which one shall we get? 4630, 4640, 4840. How about a 4840? I always like the 4840 myself. Have one. Wide stance. Yep, looks good. Put some weights on that one. Old flashers, new flashers. Oh, just old flashers. Huh? Okay, no new flashers. And yes, I'm going to put GPS on it. Doesn't actually put a GPS globe up top, does it? Oh, well. As you can probably tell, we don't exactly have to worry about the money here with this. Um, I have not removed any of the money we had. Uh, from our mining, so we were still sitting at a nice tidy 4.2 million dollars. Plus, if we wanted to make some more of them, I'm sure there's more gold we could sell up there. In fact, if we go check it here, that's eh, probably still running yet. Actually, no, it is. Uh... No, it is still running. Okay, yep, still running. Okay, there we go. That tractor should run that uh, halfway decently. And then let's uh you attached here as well. And it occurs to me, but I don't think I have uh, auto drive set up to drive from the shop here to our farmyard. So we might have to do that here yet. So we can have auto drive deliver our equipment to the yard. I could also just uh, have it so it buys the equipment there. I suppose that would probably be a little bit nicer, at least for starting anyway. Well, when I say we head over to our first uh, field here, see what's what we got over there. Actually, no, I could probably just check from here. What do we got? So we're looking at field one. That's the field we currently own. Uh, it says it has soybeans on it. What else do we got here? Uh, it is currently withered, to be expected. It needs to be plowed. Okay. And let's see once we'll check our precision farm here. Let's go ahead and just purchase the soil information for that. And it's probably... Oh, okay, we got our pH already. And uh, nitrate, yep, as I suspect, I mean, it's pretty much just going to need everything. Those are some uh, small hydraulic lines there. Okay, then, well... 
and double check I am heading the right way, right? Uh, let's see once here. Yes. Wow, that is a bit of a drive up there, isn't it? So it looks like we got to turn off a muddy gap there. It's actually not that far away of them, but uh, as far as like the roads to get there, it looks like this is going to be a bit of a drive. So like I said, we'll get this uh, set up with auto drive here. Once we get to our turn off, I can start uh, recording. And I don't know about you folks, it seems like it's been a while since I've uh, done any farming here in Farming Simulator 1. And I guess it kind of sort of has been. I've kind of sort of has been because we've been doing uh, Elk Mountain there. Haven't obviously done any uh, farming in that uh, series. So feels good to be back and doing a little bit of farming here. Does this uh, Turbo Till have any adjustment on it? Doesn't seem to. Nope. Looks like the front's uh, a little low. But maybe once it lowers down, it'll be a little more even. At least we don't have to worry about any traffic here. We got that uh, nonsense turned off. Left it on for quite a while until we finally... was it, I think it was the excavator. The big excavator. I finally... Like, okay, that's enough. Turning this off. And then I believe our turn off is right here. Okay, double checking that. So, yep, turn off there, go up and down that road, and then to our kind of our farmyard over here. So, let's get the auto drive open. Yeah, unfortunately, auto drive doesn't have routes for this one. Everyone has routes for the main tarred roads, but none of the dirt roads, I guess. Okay, so start recording. And uh, let's see once in a while. We'll, we'll drive just a little bit here. Instead of being connected there, I'm going to connect it to that one. Now, why is it showing green, though? That's interesting. Hmm. Not sure on that one, everyone. <clears throat> I don't know. Actually, you know what? Wait, that's right. Yeah. Okay, the blue ones, everyone. I forgot. The main road there has the double... It can go both ways on the line. So for those of you familiar with Auto Drive, Auto Drive has the ability where you can have two different types of lines, everyone. Uh, the one line works a single direction line. That's typically what I use, and I imagine most people probably use as well. And then you have a bi-directional line. I'm going to work. The vehicle can go both ways on the same line, if that makes sense. Like I said, I don't think I've personally ever used that option, but it is an option. And like I was saying, Evan, this is definitely a bit of a drive back into the... Uh farmyard area here. Speaking of uh, farmyard area, by the way, one, I noticed we didn't have any house. I actually want to think about this. I think there actually is a Elk Mountain house. So we might have to put that down, everyone. Find a spot up here and uh, place that. Double check my map here a minute. Make sure we're still heading. Yep. Not this turn off, but the next one should do it. Oh, hey, look at that. Looks like it's for sale. Well, we might just have to swing by and uh, purchase that here. There's field three. That's the kind of uh, the funky round field, that one. I'm assuming uh, being round, I mean, it probably uh, irrigation uh, is the reason it's round. Most irrigation pivots, you know, obviously reaching a round circle. So I'm guessing that's the idea behind that field. Although I don't think there's actually any, yeah, there's no irrigation pivot out there. I know some maps actually come with that. Well, hopefully we can uh, cross the bridge with our equipment here. That might be a bit interesting. None of what we have currently folds up in any way. I think this will fit. The planter might be a little tight, though. And obviously at this point, I mean, we just have the one 
the one line leading to the farmyard. We don't have a way to get out of the farmyard yet. Oh, let's see once there. So we're on the farmyard here. To get to field one, I presume we just got to keep going around this way. So I'm going to create a waypoint right here. I'm gonna, we're going to name this the farm yard. Come on. There we go. And then we'll just keep on driving, keep on recording here. And then we'll have a route right over to, that was field one, I think. Yep. And there we are to uh, field one, which I thought that said is withered. Ah, maybe it is. I mean, maybe it is. It doesn't look withered, does it? Okay, and we'll just uh, give that field one. I might have to modify that at some point, but for now, we'll call that uh, pretty good. Not a very large field, and needs plowing. Oh, it, yeah, it does say growth is withered. Oh, that does not look withered, does it? <laughs> Looks like they're ready to harvest if you ask me. I mean, oh, well, whatever. Get the plow going. Interesting, it does... That, that's actually the, the folding. I mean, that's not actually lowering. There we go. So for some reason, it does have a fold and a lower. I don't know what or why that is. Oh, let's... Uh, there we go. Turn off the auto drive there. We don't need that on. Turn the uh, tractor up there just a little bit as well. We're used to all the noisy construction equipment here. The tractor definitely seems to be a little bit quieter than that stuff. Definitely not complaining. Nope. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna fix that problem. We don't want to tree that that close. I don't think. Let's try to fix it anyway. Come on. There it is. Want to see the red circle? I'm in the red circle of death there. That means the tree will be uh, eliminated. Get ourselves uh, straightened back up here a minute. Now, I'm not entirely sure on why this particular piece of uh, cultivation equipment is in the plow category, but hey. I haven't uh, tried this particular tool yet, and I'll be folks, it's, it's not really a plow, but hey, we're going to use it as such. Why not, right? This appears to be more, uh, more of a, like a vertical tillage tool. Which I always had to uh, chuckle at when it comes to the uh, the vertical tillage tools here. Uh, for those of you, you know, familiar with the farm equipment here, you might look at a vertical tillage tool and think, yeah, that looks an awful lot like a disc. And I would say you folks are right if you're thinking that. Uh, the vertical tillage tools look very much like discs. Uh, obviously, I mean, there are some slight changes, and this tree is going to have to go on for it. Yeah, I mean, it looks really nice there, but uh, sorry there, bud. Oh, that's a big tree. Gotten it down. Yeah, he's right in the way. Can't have that. Nope. Anyway, like I was saying about the uh, the discs, that one. Uh, discs have kind of fallen out of favor here in the last uh, few years when it comes to uh, farming. Um, just, I think, more like compaction issues, stuff like that, everyone. <clears throat> Hard pan. Discs are kind of uh, notorious for that, to my understanding. So yeah, I find it funny. I would just uh, you know, rename the disc into a vertical tillage, and uh, then there's something very popular again, right? I, again, I mean, there is a slight difference between uh, a standard disc and a vertical tillage, and this uh, particular one is probably a good example of that. Uh, especially on this one here, you notice that one. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think there's any angle at all on these discs. Uh, they are straight up and down. Uh, they are straight in line, you know, with the tractor. There's no angle to the gangs. So, 
definitely a vertical tillage tool here. Most uh, your standard discs, or what most people think of as a disc, Evan, uh, they will have a concave blade on them. So the blade itself, or the disc, kind of helps, you know, throw the dirt. And then usually the gang, which is a set of blades, by the way, is also angled. So it kind of, you know, throws the dirt to one side, and then usually the back discs are angled the other way, and then throws the dirt the other way, if that makes sense. Probably some better ways of explaining it. I probably didn't do a real good job, but oh well. Help both get the gist of how that works. Uh, you know what? Before we continue any further here, let's uh, get our tractor here. And I'm still thinking we need to get a Kubota. I'm what do you folks think? Um, why is it not letting me click on anything here? Oh, the... Yeah. Okay, you folks are probably yelling at me. It's we're in the precision farming screen. Oh my goodness! Anyone else do that? Like, am I the only one, Evan, that uh, gets stuck in that screen? And like, why is this not working? Am I the only one? Who's, is it just me? Oh, there it is. Something tells me this is not going to go down the road well. Yeah, I don't think so, Evan. I don't think so. Guess we'll find out. I might at least have to drive this out of town here a minute, everyone. Then we'll uh, see you once here. So we are going to farmyard. Put you in uh, travel mode. Now we'll try once we're past this light pole here. Then he might be okay. I'll have to see once. I'm not sure about the bridge, though. Both bridges, for that matter. Okay, back to our track, everyone. Oh, nothing like some good farming, right, everyone? Feels good to be back. Feels good to be back. Just plowing away in our uh, John Deere 7710. I can't say I've uh, seen anyone with a 7710, everyone. Uh, when it comes to this uh, style tractor, mostly what I've always seen is either like the 7610 or the 7810. The uh, 7810, I believe, is the largest in this particular series of tractors. And then the 70... I forget his, his, no, I think there's a 7410 as well, isn't there? I don't know if there's a 75 or not, but... Fairly certain there's a 7410, so the 76 would be kind of like middle of the road, I guess. So yeah, 7410... Like I said, again, I'm not sure on the 7510 if there's one of those or not. Then 7610, 7710, 7810. A little bit of a, at least if you ask me, a little bit of a strange in-between uh, tractor. Rather uh, unique in their shape um, compared to some of the other John Deere tractors. You know, kind of switching over from, say, the, the John Deere... 4,000 series, like the 4840, 4960, 4440, those, uh, you know, very unique shape, but they're all mostly, almost look kind of the same, everyone, uh, you know, just certain little things different here and there, uh, very similar cabs on those tractors, and then you kind of go to this, right, and then, of course, I mean, you go to the newer style cabs, like, say, the 8R, 6R, 7R, 9R, all very similar cabs there again. And you just kind of have this tractor in the middle that's like, what? Oh, okay, well, I'm thinking I might uh, throw a hired worker on this scene so if we get a hired worker to finish the rest of this because we need to get a few more pieces of equipment yet. Uh, we still need a fertilizer spreader, lime spreader, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Combine. We got the planter, so we're good for that. Okay, if I just throw regular hired work on this, will that work? Find out. Well, we're going up and down the field, too. Evan. I mentioned a moment ago. Let's go check the house out here a minute. So, construction. Go back this way here a minute. Back to our farmyard. 
follow the road back. There we go. Now we're almost there. Uh, question is, Eva, where should we put a house? My thoughts are that, uh, and I don't know why, but if I understand it correctly, it sounds like some of this stuff should be here. Why it's not, Evan, I don't know. Um, I do know when you can start in different modes in the game, and obviously, depending on what mode you pick, it'll depend on what you get. But I should be in the mode, Evan, that lets me get... It, like, the, the buildings should be here, if that makes sense. Hmm, I guess, is that the one? Maybe that is the one. I mean, I thought there was a different one. I could be wrong here, though. Um, yeah, if there is, I'm not sure what else it would be under. Yeah, here's a bunch of the Elk Mountain uh, sheds and stuff. Um, small garage. Oh, looks like all the Elk Mountain buildings there. Cool. Ah, oh, yes, the, the one that's being fabricated. That's kind of cool. Okay, anyway, back to the farmhouse. I guess we'll go with the Elk Mountain one. Let's, uh... Seems like that's where it would fit, right? Also not sure I want to put it there because that might be in the way of some stuff. And don't know. Or we'll just put it in this grassy spot here. You know what? Let's, let's, we'll do that one. We'll put it right there. And then you know what? We do have the garage as well. Let's go grab the garage here. We'll put that down. Let's see once here. That was... Was that one? Was that one, right? And we want to rotate it, at least if we can, anyway. I'm thinking this side, but that tree might have to go. Okay, we'll just put that there. And then back to the farmyard. Let's check our house out. Hey, look at that. The, uh, the 4840 actually made it. I'm cool. I did not think he was going to make it across those bridges, but he did. Of course, maybe I don't want to know how he made it across. Devin, that might be a whole different story, but hey, he's here. <laughs> I didn't see anything happen. We're good. Well, that's a, that one is a fancy house. Would you look at that? Oh, and we can go inside to it. All right. I don't know why, but I always like the house so we can go inside. You know what? Let's save this for next episode. Next episode, we'll go in and check the house out because it looks like this might be worth uh, worth taking a look at. Terry Blackstone Nightlight, I think. Not sure. Okay, yep, no, no sneak peeks. No sneak peeks, everyone. We're looking. Ooh, even the garage looks pretty cool. I'm assuming the door's open. Yes, they do. Excellent. We'll have to grab our uh, truck, everyone. We do have a truck up at the mine site. We'll have to maybe uh, get that one down here, and we can use that on our farmyard. We also have a, a smaller truck up at the shop as well. We can also possibly get that one down here. So with that, everyone, uh, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching, and until next time.